afternoon. Good afternoon, Kyle. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me here. Yes, good afternoon to all the people watching on the live stream and most especially watching on the replay. So, this is an interesting uh, short film fe feature entitled Kids on Fires. And uh, we'll be talking to um, the director, Kyle Nieva, about, you know, how did this uh, film came about and his uh, Cinemalaya journey. My name is Anton Diaz, founder of our awesome planet. And join us with our awesome live chat with Kids on Fire. All right. Um, so, Kyle, maybe can you introduce yourself and give us a, a story about uh, this short film? What is it about and why should we watch it? Uh, yes. Uh, hello to everyone. Uh, I'm Kyle, I'm the director and producer of Kids on Fire. Um, it's going to play this August at the Cinemalaya Philippine Independent Film Festival. Um, it's about, it's an apocalyptic uh, coming of age dark comedy about a boy who joins this uh, religious camp and discovers his uh, special role in the apocalypse. This apocalypse is the the prophesied return of the Son of God. All right, so, uh, we'll watch the trailer. All right. So, um, Kyle, maybe, Pano, how did you get into this, uh, the storyline? No? Uh, I love, I, I love apocalyptic, <laughs> um, mga films, no? And, um, how, how did you, what inspired you to write this story? For inspiration, uh, the main one, uh, would be my childhood memories. Uh, they're full of uh, <laughs> irrational and absurd fears, and in, that, that's including the terror of death from apocalypse. And there's this uh, apocalypse that I learned from church. It's uh, called uh, like a, the second coming, or sometimes a tribulation. Yeah, at a very young age, I learned about that, and I was really terrified. <laughs> and uh, back in 2017, uh, it reminded me, uh, there's this event, uh, there was a series of earthquakes that actually hit our, our country. Um, it was also during this time where uh, our government was actually appealing to our residents, uh, specifically uh, in Metro Manila and the nearby provinces, to uh, prepare for the big one. It's a, it's a Oh, an impending uh, earthquake, diba? That, that could, I think, could kill thousands of Filipinos. So, yeah. So, th so that uh, so-called uh, the big one reminded me of the signs of the, the end times, which I learned from, from, from Sunday school and from, from, from a, a Bible camp I, I went to when I was young. So, uh -huh. ayun. So it reminded me of that because some people would uh, attribute catastrophes like that, mga earthquakes uh -oh, or right. pagyo to retribution for the sins of humanity. Uh -oh. So, ayun, I came why up is with it called, Why is it called Kids on Fire? Kids on Fire. Uh, actually, it could be... It could be... Uh, or secret. Because, <laughs> literal could be literal. Kids on fire, like burning kids. Because uh, uh -huh. it also touches on heaven and hell. Parang okay. ganon. Also, kids on fire. They're on fire because of like of the Holy Ghost or the uh, of the, uh, the, their Spirit. love for uh -huh. uh, for the for for God. Parang ganon. Mm -mm. And uh, can you uh, describe to us how did you, how's your journey to Cinemalaya? Um, 
And I, I know you've joined other film festival before. How was that entire experience uh, for this uh, short film? Hmm. Actually, uh, this film premiered uh, last year. And we're really uh, grateful that we've had other screenings before Cinemalaya. Because uh, we premiered the film in the middle of the pandemic. We uh, lockdown all the uh, Actually, uh, it played in, luckily it played in theaters uh, abroad, pero we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't go there. And now it's playing in Cinemalaya, you know, uh, cinema, cinemas here have closed, the right? since 2020. So we're uh, grateful na sa Cinemalaya we are having like drive-in screenings there are physical screenings happening now and also uh, online so uh, I think it's also a blessing in disguise that we're only uh, getting to show this uh, now kasi more more Filipinos would be able to watch it because it's going to be available online Mm-mm. So yeah, if if it played in a in a normal in a normal cinema laya, diba, it would be hard for other people to to see it. Because palaging nasa sold out yung tickets sa Uh-oh. CCP ganyan. At least But now, diba, it's it's gonna run for a whole month. Yeah, and it's going to be available online. So whether you're in uh, Luzon, Visayas, or Mindanao, you could join the celebration. Oo. And um, so, mukhang, so uh, mukhang lockdown ng August natin. So, marami talaga mga kanoon. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, wala nang lockdown. Ang sine malaya. So, um, can you share us a story when you found out na you were selected sa sine malaya? Were you confident because, you know, you've joined Busan and other festival that uh, you'll get into sine malaya? How was it? And... Why do you think Cinemalaya chose this film as part of the 13 finalists? Actually, uh, so sobrang daming magagaling na filmmakers dito sa Pilipinas, even short filmmakers. Kaya, uh, I wasn't expecting them to get in. Pero I am really grateful that they're programming this film. Medyo natatakot din kasi ako because we are touching on a very sensitive topic. Tabu, sexual awakening, and the uh, end of the world, and all that. So we're grateful that Cinemalaya is uh, happy to program it. Ay, ayun. Uh, Oo. Hindi yeah. ba? Hindi naman na uh, blasphemous yung ano or uh, medyo tabu ba yung topic? That you, uh, I, I don't think topic. it's blasphemous. Uh, I think. You have to see it then. Oh wow! Because uh, it's kind of hard to summarize, right? Okay. Into uh, in, into into a logline or a synopsis. I think you have to to see it then. We also oh, made okay. sure that uh, there are other films or stories that uh, touch on the same topics. Sure. We also uh, would like for I uh, know the children to be safe. And also, we made sure that they understood what we were shooting, and uh, there were also their uh, parents' guidance. Hindi ba mahirap yon? Getting the kids to casting yeah. the kids. Actually, medyo I think medyo mature na sila at that time when we shot this. Uh, all of the kids were already in high school, so medyo. Uh, okay. Aware na man sila. It's just uh, uh, our, our main actor, uh, Alexis. His name is JC in, in the film. He was the only one in grade school then. Uh, so we wanted to make sure na he knows uh, what we were uh, dealing with. Uh, his parents were there to guide us. And actually, uh, happy ako kasi uh, when I pitched the story to his parents, mm-hmm. para I, I was happy to 
to know na ano parang they've had uh, open discussions naman with 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 the boy yung parents nila uh, even before pa na i pitched the story parang uh, guided naman na siya they've had discussions on sensitive topics such as a, a child sexual development and happy kami that uh, his parents actually believed in the story and we made sure that uh, Alexis's mom uh, was there to guide mm-hmm. guide him and to guide the crew throughout the shoot so nice. galing ah and uh, parang ang daming themes no Nung film, <laughs> hitting on all uh, different aspects, coming of age, apocalypse, <laughs> <laughs> and then pati yung mga so, <laughs> so um, any advice? Uh, kasi you've been in the circuit, you know, doing festival. A lot of people would maybe want to start a filmmaking career during this pandemic. No? Um, how do you get started ba on this one? Is it, does the filmmaking start with a good script, a good story? Or does it really just start with, you know, you're passionate to tell a good story? Or is it a, more of you want to deliver a point? Ano ba? How, how, does it, uh, how does it work? And the secret in getting into the festivals? Uh, I usually, I start with, uh, with an idea that uh, I, I couldn't explain properly with, with my own words. I, or start with a feeling, uh, or because I'm not really a, a good speaker, I think. And if there are like ideas or theories that I would like people to understand, I couldn't just uh, use my own words. Nahirapan ako. So, so I, I, I think uh, all these, I, I bring it to filmmaking. Itong mga concepts that, that I learned. For example, this film, the concept that I learned uh, when I was a kid, I learned from from Sunday school. Now I couldn't just uh, tell it to others through conversation. Uh, it would be nice to make it into a film. So I get to explain uh, my worldview, Kenyan. Or if there are some things that I'm really very passionate about, diba? Uh, I bring it to filmmaking. It, it's 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 like my my outlet. It's how I I, I bring my thoughts uh, and show it to the world. So yeah. Galing. Now um, maybe uh, thank you for sharing that and thank you for making the film. Maybe some final message and can you invite uh, people to watch uh, your film in Cinemalaya? Yeah, uh, I would like everyone to. Uh, I would like to invite everyone to the to the Cinemalaya Philippine Independent Film Festival happening this uh, August five to September six. So it's going to run for a whole month. Uh, you will get to see uh, thirteen short films, and they are also programming. Um, feature-length films, I think, from, from our films from around Asia. There's no, uh, our films are going to be available on KTX. Uh, you can watch online, and there's also going to be a physical screening, I think. There's going to be a drive-in cinema in, around CCP. So, uh, uh, yeah, I hope we get to see you there, albeit virtually. All right. Thank you. Congratulations and uh, good luck uh, with the festival. And thank you. thank you so much for sharing your story. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having me here. Thanks. All right. All right.